India and China are all set to hold 13th round of core commander level talks amidst the ongoing standoff. The talks are going to begin at 10.30 a.m. in Moldo and coming amidst two recent attempts of transgression by Chinese troops in Uttarakhand and Arunachal Pradesh. The focus of talks is going to be on setting up a similar mechanism of having a buffer zone to ensure disengagement can take place. There has been no de-induction of troops and the build-up continues at forward locations from both sides. The previous talks took place in July and up until now there's been disengagement at Pangong, so Gogra, Galwan, but Hot Springs continues to remain a friction point. Abhishek Bhalla is now joining us live for the latest. Abhishek, if you could tell us a little about the two recent attempts of transgression by Chinese troops in Uttarakhand and Arunachal Pradesh and how these talks are going to be helping to resolve that. Well, Ch Chaiti, uh, these talks are not related uh, to what happened in Uttarakhand and Ar Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, there was an attempted incursion in uh, Arunachal Pradesh last week and sometime in August. Uh, a similar uh, thing had happened uh, in Barahuti area of Uttarakhand. Uh, but these talks are uh, restricted uh, to the standoff in Ladakh that has been uh, you know, discussed since uh, last uh, May. And this is the 13th round uh, of talks that's happening. Uh, India has been stressing that... Uh, a piecemeal disengagement uh, that has been uh, uh, put in place uh, in uh, fiction points like Pengongso, Galwan and Gogra uh, needs to be taken ahead now and there needs to be a breakthrough as far as complete de-escalation and de-induction is uh, concerned because uh, uh, this is the second consecutive uh, winter uh, where uh, the two armies are likely to continue with an enhanced deployment of 50 to 60,000 troops uh, uh, very close to the LSE at more than 15,000 feet when temperatures will be dipping to minus 35, minus 40 degrees. And just yesterday, uh, Army Chief uh, General Naravne uh, said that uh, uh, going by the infrastructure uh, built up by China, it seems that they are here to stay. And he said, if they are here to stay, we are here to stay too. Uh, so a clear indication uh, that uh, there is uh, very little likelihood of a complete pullback and, you know, uh, going back to the situation of April 2020, what India has been saying, that status quo ante uh, as of April 2020 needs to be maintained. Uh, but uh, there's a long way uh, to go before that happens, it seems.